Today we're going to be talking about why some cars burn excessive engine oil. Now there's two main sources of excessive oil consumption, the first of which is the piston rings and the second of which is the valve stem seals which we're going to talk about later. Now we all know how an internal combustion works, you've got your engine block here and then you have your piston on top of which your combustion will occur to move this piston up and down. Now it's important that the interface between the cylinder walls here and the piston ring are completely sealed so that when combustion occurs at the top all of the energy is transferred into pushing the piston down and it doesn't escape past and go into the crankcase. Now to do that, the engineers have come up with this ring system here to seal off the combustion side. Now the bottom half of your cylinder wall as well as your wrist pin joint here, your main crank bearing here and the piston rings are all coated in oil to aid with lubrication as well as to help cooling. And that's where we come to the first major flaw of the engine design and that is it's operating too hot. If your engine was designed to operate at say 120 degrees Celsius and now it's operating at 160 degrees Celsius, well the petroleum in your oil is going to start to break down and that's going to cause carbon deposits on these piston rings. Now if we take a really close look at this piston head here, you'll see that there's actually three sets of rings. The first two of which are of equal thickness and are called compression rings and they do the heavy lifting of sealing off the combustion side from the crankcase side. Now that third ring there is called the oil control ring and its responsibility is to scrape the cylinder walls of oil as it's going down so it separates the oil that's lubricating the bottom part of the piston from escaping back into this top part of the piston where it's going to be combusted. Well in theory that's exactly how it's supposed to work except that if you're at higher temperatures that petroleum is going to start to break down and you're going to start to see carbon deposits being formed inside of that oil control ring. Well the oil control ring is supposed to collect all of that excessive oil and push it through some tiny holes inside of the piston head here where it's going to drain back into the sump. And here's a closer look at those two holes. You got one over there, one there, and then another two on the bottom on this side here. Now I'm going to try to clean up that oil control ring so we can have a closer look at what it's supposed to look like. I'm just going to come in with a little bit of carb cleaner here, spray that down. And then I uh, stole my brother's toothbrush. I'm just going to use that to uh, scrub some of that carbon off. And then I'm going to come in with my brother's sock here and wipe that down. And here we can actually see what the ring looks like. It's freed up now and I can actually rotate it. So now I'm going to remove these piston rings so we can have a closer look. Now these compression rings have some springiness to them so that they expand outward as they go against the cylinder wall. So I'm just going to lift this up and work it around. And that's how they come out. Again we're just going to lift this up and I snapped it off. Just remove the second ring there. And then finally we're left with the oil control valve ring. It's got a thin ring on the top. And then at the bottom here we have the bottom ring. That expands out this way. And then I can remove this ring here. So if we take a closer look at the oil control ring here, you can see that there's a top ring as well as a bottom ring for structure. And then you've got this springy like material here. And this telescope so you can get it on and off of the piston. Now oil is meant to flow through this ring here and when it's clogged up with carbon it's going to block those holes that allow the oil to return through the piston head and back down into the sump. There's one hole over there and there's one tiny little hole over there. Now the question is well how can you prevent this from happening to your vehicle? Well Toyota has released a new piston ring and piston head design and that has more holes to allow more oil to drain through back down into the sump but ultimately the design is flawed in that you need more holes drilled into this piston head here and the only way to do that is pretty much to tear down your engine. Now the second main reason how your engine can burn oil will actually come from the cylinder head itself on top of the engine. I've got a video on how engine lubrication works and in that video I explain how these camshaft bearings as well as your valves actually get oil to be lubricated. So basically this entire cylinder head here is covered in oil while the engine is running. And now if you look closely inside one of these valves here you can see what's called a valve stem seal. And what that does it's basically an oil seal where this valve will ride up inside and it will separate the oil from the top half of the engine from the bottom half of the engine which has the combustion. So here's a close look at that valve stem seal from the top part of the engine. Now what happens is as your engine ages all of the seals then become a little bit harder and more brittle and they're going to start to leak oil. So what happens is typically overnight you've got a pool of oil sitting around that valve there and it's just going to start seeping down into your combustion chamber. And then you're going to wake up in the morning and brush your teeth and then you'll come outside and try to start your car and you've got this pool of oil that's sitting on top of the piston. Well it's just going to burn and it's going to burn into a huge plume of bluish black smoke coming out of your tailpipe when you start your car and then you're going to wonder what you had for dinner last night. 
Now changing your valve stem seals requires you to pull the entire engine head off because you've got to get each and every one of these valves off so that you can change that seal. So it is quite a labor intensive work and usually at higher mileage it's not worth it on these older vehicles and you're just going to continue burning oil as you rack on the miles. Now this engine only had 200,000 kilometers and it did burn some oil but there's still quite a lot of carbon buildup on the piston heads. So the best preventative maintenance for this is to keep changing your oil with a good quality oil and change it frequently. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one.